now overseas to the troubling developments on a faraway island. A young American on an evangelical mission. His adventure taking a harrowing turn. What he wrote in those final moments. Here's ABC News foreign correspondent James Longman. Tonight, this remote island in the Indian Ocean is the focus of a search for the body of an American missionary who police believe was killed by an endangered tribe. 26-year-old John Chow traveled the world preaching Christianity, documenting his journey on Instagram. Officials believe he paid local fishermen to drop him off illegally at the restricted North Sentinel Island, home to an indigenous tribe which fiercely resists contact with outsiders. One member can be seen here firing arrows at a relief helicopter after the 2004 tsunami. His desire was to befriend them. He brought gifts to them. But unfortunately, as we now know, uh, that didn't happen. When the fishermen returned two days later, they thought they saw Chow's body being buried on the shore. Police say he was likely killed by the tribesmen. In excerpts from Chow's journals published by the Washington Post, Chow writes that a tribesman shot at him with an arrow piercing his waterproof Bible. You guys might think I'm crazy in all this, he wrote in his last message to family, but I think it's worthwhile to declare Jesus to these people, adding, God, I don't want to die. He also reportedly told his mother, please don't be angry at them or God if I get killed. Tonight, Charles' family say they forgive those thought to be responsible for his death. Local authorities are working with experts on this tribe to try to figure out the best way forward. Wit. James Longman reporting from London. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.